YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a mid high taper with a number three on top. Typically, I like to begin by brushing or combing out my client's hair, but clearly there's no need for that. So I'm going to jump right into it using my wall number three premium guard with the lever closed, and I'm going to begin to knock down all this bulk. This is going to be the desired length for my client, so I'm going to make sure that I cut everything clean and evenly. So now that I got everything knocked down evenly, I'm gonna come in with my Caliber 38 Special Trimmer and I'm gonna begin to set and create my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guide. Now that my bald guideline was created, I'm gonna completely bald it out using my Babyliss Pro Gold Foil FX02. And once I get towards the top of that guide that I set in, you will notice that I use that flick out motion. And that's because I wanna demonstrate a smooth transition from completely bald to stubble. So now that I completely balded that out, I'm gonna come in with my Caliber 357 Clipper with the lever open. And I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. And typically once my guide is set, I'll close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back towards the top of that guide, blending everything out. And this time I noticed that all I had to do was remove that bald guideline and everything looked blended. So now that I have that blended out, I'm gonna come in with my wall number one color guard with the lever fully open. And I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline, giving myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything consistent with this blend. So now that my guideline was created with the lever fully open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of this guide. And I'm literally going to go right underneath where I just left off with the one fully open. So now that that's blended out, I'm going to come in with my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever fully open. And this time I'm not looking to set or create any guideline. That's why you see me gesture the flick out motion. So I am going to come in with the lever fully open, cleaning up in a guide like formation. But again, I'm going to use that flick out motion because I'm not looking to create or set any guideline. All I'm trying to do is transition this blend into that length on top. So once I clean up with that lever fully open, I'll then close my lever and begin to clean up right underneath where I just was, going right back up to where I just left off with the lever fully open. So now that that guide's blended out, I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup work using my wall number two premium guard and I am going to come in with the lever open and I will close it as needed to knock down these dark spots that I see. And what I'm really just trying to do here is, is really allow a clean smooth transition from that bald taper into that length on top. Thank you. 
All right, so on this side of the taper, we're going to do the same exact steps as we just did on the other side of the taper. The only difference is I'm going to be using the 50 cal caliber clipper so I could demonstrate the difference between the two. So now I'm going to come in with my 50 cal caliber clipper with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. And this side you are going to notice I would say a significant difference between the fading style between the both. The 357 caliber does have a fade blade and this 50 cal does have a taper blade. However, the 50 cal does completely um, zero gap. So there is no struggle removing any bald guideline with either of the two of the clipper. But on this side, you can see that I am now going to have to work my way through the lever system to completely blend out that guide that I just created with the lever fully open. And with the 357 caliber, all it took was for me to remove that bottom guideline and it was blended out. So right here is where I tend to notice the biggest difference between the two clippers and that's anything above a one guard and this 50 cal cuts so differently than that 357. The 357 feels very powerful and knocks bulk down easily and I literally use that clipper from beginning to finish with haircuts. The 50 cal is a little bit different. I tend to use the 50 cal when I'm doing ethnic hair or anytime I'm just going from a bald guide to a number one open. And the reason is, is the 50 cal I feel like cuts a little bit slower. So it tends to feel like it's not as powerful when it comes to removing bulk as other clippers. However, I don't feel like it lacks power if that makes sense. I just feel like it cuts differently. And the way that it actually cuts is a lot of people reference it to the fast feeds. And I'd have to agree because I feel like it drops a really dope blurry blend like the fast feeds does. And I feel like it could feel like the fast feeds too where it feels like it lacks power because it does cut a little bit slower when that's not the case.
all right so now we're on the neck taper and we're gonna repeat the same exact step so I'm not gonna walk you through them however I am gonna use this time to kind of talk about my experience with both of these clippers so I'll start with the 357 hands down that is my favorite clipper to use right now and I'll have to be honest with you out of all the clippers I ever use this is the best fading clipper that I've ever used hands down this clipper is absolutely dope I love it it's definitely in my top five setting at my number one and I could use this clipper from the beginning of a haircut to the end of a haircut and I tend to only use guards up to a one and a half premium guard and then I do clipper over comb or shears for anything above that and so as far as fading both of these clippers set evenly but they cut and fade completely differently so the 50 cal I feel like cuts a little bit slower so it tends to not feel as powerful as the 357 clipper or any other clipper for that matter but I don't feel like it lacks power if that makes sense I just feel like it cuts slower so it tends to feel like it does lack power when it doesn't so I literally use that 50 cal for any ethnic hair or hair of that structure and if I could relate the way it blends to any clipper I would definitely say it blends and cuts like the Oster fast feeds it's just like a cordless version with notches on the side and I'm not trying to take away anything from caliber with their ingenuity or however you say that word because they built a really dope clipper and I want to give them props for that I'm just saying if I had to relate it to any other clipper I'd have to say the 50 cal relates a lot to the fast feeds and that 357 I would say relates a lot to the wall cordless senior and that's just my opinion and I'm not saying that they were made to be like those clippers I'm just saying if I had to relate them to anything that would be the clipper that I relate them to so they're both definitely dope clippers again I would say that 357 is hands down the best fading clipper that I ever used although that some people prefer the fast feeds and they'll stick with that cord regardless of what cordless clippers are out because of the blends that those pop off so if you're definitely a fan of that you're really gonna want to pick you up a 50 cal again I only use the 50 cal from anything from a bald guideline into a one open because anything after that it could tend to feel like it lacks power because it cuts a little slower and when I'm in the shop grinding I like to just get through mine and so that's my opinion on both of them back to the tutorial here we are on my clients lineup I just applied a little bit of um, hold spray to keep all those little flyaway hairs down so I could line up everything evenly with his lineup I want to keep everything very natural and consistent he's a little light on his corners but you will see that I'm gonna line them up like they were there even though they're really not that way we give that illusion and that appearance of a nice clean full lineup and so this is basically it for the cut this is kind of a little something different there's like a tutorial here and there's somewhat of a review so if you got anything useful out this I ask that you smash that like button if you're new to my channel I suggest you stick around it's only gonna get doper from here and why I got your guys' ear for a minute I just want to remind everybody that September 27th me myself Big Al and Rum Barber will be doing a class from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in a Suzu or however you say that at Big Al's Barber Shop in Los Angeles that September 27th there's still a few tickets available so if you're in the area you're looking to network and elevate your education as far as this barber game make sure to come check us out
so here's a look at the final cut again if you got anything useful out this i ask that you smash that like button if you're new to my channel i suggest you stick around it's only gonna get doper from here i appreciate y'all be blessed and be a blessing i'm out